guys welcome back to my channel i know you guys are so pumped for today's video if you watched yesterday's i did a collaboration with ikea where i went into the store showed my little shopping experience did a little furniture haul and shared us putting together the furniture it's all ready and done behind me the last finishing touches i'm going to do today and then i'm going to give you guys the final room reveal slash tour so it's actually looking pretty good in here so far with the exception of all of my clothes being on the ground the final thing we did yesterday before ending off the vlog was put together the dresser it's all built I put two lamps on top of it but now I need to actually put the contents of my dresser into it and then I have some stuff to put on top of it so I'm just gonna set you guys up and do a little time lapse and then after that I will give you guys the final reveal so you can see it all it looks so good in here I'm so excited I hope you guys are too a big thank you again to Ikea for sponsoring yesterday in today's video let's get on with it Okay, so now I am working on the dresser top. I have two matching lamps that are gold and white on top. And then my mom actually got me this black little table runner. And I'm going to be putting this on top of my dresser simply because this is where I get ready in the morning. I do my makeup and stuff. And my dresser top used to be like an off-white and it just got so destroyed from all of the makeup and like hair products and all that kind of stuff. And I really want to make sure that this dresser top stays nice and it's clean. So I'm going to move my makeup drawers and my jewelry and stuff back onto it. But I have this little black table runner down just to kind of keep it from getting gross. All right, here's what the top of the dresser looks like. I wish I didn't have to keep those two containers on here, but I don't have a vanity in my room just because I simply don't have space. And so I need to keep my makeup somewhere. And since I do just get ready in front of this mirror, it makes the most sense to just leave it out on top. So that's what I'm working with. Now I am trying to organize underneath my bed. I use tons of under the bed storage because my room is actually very small. Even though my dresser is a decent size now, um, it was a little bit bigger beforehand, but this one fits just as much, if not more. But either way, I still have way more clothes than I have space. My closet is actually not that big in here. And so I use tons of these under the bed storage containers. So I actually use three of these under the bed storage containers to fit extra stuff. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys what they look like this one is just full of sweatshirts workout zip ups these are things that I leave here like I don't have at school with me I have a couple of hoodies and stuff at school don't get me wrong but these are clothes that I've just left here and basically they just have this little top and they've got wheels and so I can just push them underneath my bed I have a couple of them one is full of purses and then the one all the way to the left is full of old journals and just like things that hold some sentimental value to me like um I don't know old certificates my high school graduation diploma is in there i have like accomplishments achievements old corsages all that kind of stuff is in that box as well so i just use three of them and i just push them under the bed and then whenever i need to grab a sweatshirt i literally just roll it out from under and it's a great space saving like hack if you have a smaller room like me i also use them at school as well and keep tons of stuff underneath there so all right everything is good to go i'm gonna move my ring light out of here because it's covering up something that i want you guys to see and i'm gonna give you guys the full final reveal i'm so excited Oh my gosh, I am absolutely obsessed, guys. It's all done in here, and I feel like just this new furniture and all of the decor really, really helped open up my bedroom. I have a very small room, and it is literally just a box. It's a square, the exact same dimensions all the way around, and so it's kind of hard to place furniture in here and make it look 
open, but I think we did a really, really nice job. So this is the back of my bedroom door. I actually have had this mirror on it for years, but right when you walk in the door, you see the curtains behind me. So I'm going to kind of start to the right of me and work my way around the room. I used to have a bunch of hats hanging here and I just really wasn't in love with the way it looked having my new bookshelf here. So I took the hats down, put them in my closet and I moved this print right over here. I will leave links to as many things as possible throughout this this little room tour portion down below in the description bar. I will leave my linens, my furniture, everything from Ikea, names to everything down below so that you guys can shop if you are in the market to redo your room or anything like that. So that print is hanging up right there. It's just my hometown coordinates. I absolutely love it. And then to the left of that print, I have my brand new bookshelf and I am absolutely obsessed. I actually had a bookshelf here prior, but I just got a new one and this one is much, much taller. This one's actually as tall as my closet doors. It's about seven feet tall. And I used to keep a bunch of old magazines on it and shoes as well, but I decided to say goodbye to all of the old 17 magazines from 2012 and just have entirely shoes on display. So I kept them in rainbow order. As you guys can tell, these are just all of my heels. They're really, really hard to store in my closet closet area so I figured keeping them on display would be a really cute way to kind of I don't know showcase them and at the bottom down here I just have a bunch of espadrilles and these ones are single stacked just because I didn't have as much space so love the look of that and then my closet is to the left of that I always get questions about if I have a huge closet or not it's definitely not a walk-in it's very very small actually we're not even going to go in it today because it's a disaster for right now but that's what it looks like and then over over here I keep all of my purses on display not all of them just a few select ones that I've been carrying recently I've had that little thing forever I have no idea where it's from I think it's from a garage sale but it hangs right there with just a few of my bags and then my brand new white curtains are on my window I literally love these I do tons of filming right in front of this window and it's really important to me to have curtains that let in the natural light I get such good natural light because I'm on the side of the house so these are great I'll have them linked down below and then you pan over to my bed I told you guys I have a size twin bed and honestly I love it I don't mind it the biggest difference in my bed right now is that I got a new bed frame and this is from Ikea as well here is what the footboard looks like. It is just black and it's metal. And then the little, I don't know what those are called, feet, I guess, of the bed have a little bit of gold detailing on it. And then there's some gold on the headboard as well. But I am obsessed. My old one was a white, really chunky wood. And it took up a lot more space. I actually have a lot more space right here now that I have a new bed frame. And I think it just looks so sophisticated, super, super classy. I was a little worried about having black in this room but with the picture frames it literally looks amazing and then I also got all new bedroom linens I was just in the mood for a refresh and so I got a new bed skirt new comforter new sheets new blankets like everything on my bed is new I will have it all linked down below for you guys and I just went with all white because I don't know, I was just feeling it. I had white on my freshman year dorm room bed and then my sophomore room bed at school right now is also white and I really love how polished it looks. So I gave that a little upgrade and then this black blanket just to pull some black back into it. This gray pillow right here is actually my aunt who passed away's handwriting. My mom is able to convert handwriting onto like bedroom linens. So I have a love you from her on this pillow. And then these two dark gray pillows are from Ikea as well. They come separate, the inserts and the covers, but they look amazing. I really want a black pillow as well, but for right now, that's what it looks like. And then I got a couple of golden white pillowcases just because, I don't know, my sheets were all white and my comforter was white and I wanted to really bring that gold back in somewhere else. So we've got those and then here's what the back of that headboard looks like. It's kind of hard to see just because I have a box spring on my bed so my bed sits up really high right now. And then all of my prints on the wall are Ikea frames as well. This is the exact same gallery wall I had up before in my old room. I really wanted to 
to kind of base my room around keeping the same prints. I really, really like them. I always keep three of the same size on this wall right here. And then over here, I kind of just have an array. I've got some beach prints. I've got some bathroom ones. And then just a few random things. And then this is my new nightstand. It's a lot bigger than my last nightstand. And I actually really like it because it fits a ton. I've got one single lamp on top as well. And I really want to switch this out for a black one. This lamp is actually from my old bedroom, but for right now it works. And then I have my um, little Echo Show sitting here as well. And then to the left of this, I have a card also made by my aunt, the same one whose handwriting I have on a pillow. Um, she used to be really big into crafts and this is like an old card of hers that she had given me that says playing dress up begins at age five and never truly ends. And she colored that and like, you know, did all that. So I keep that on there as well. My phone's on here and I'm gonna show you guys actually what's in these drawers. So first up, this is kind of like my junk drawer, I guess. It's not really junky, thankfully. My other one definitely was. And I have a couple of these drawer dividers throughout my dresser and my nightstand. I'll leave those linked down below as well. My planner's just in here. I've got some pens. And then I really didn't have any spot for my hair stuff. So I just have some scrunchies and stuff in here. And then a few random like techie things. I've got some extra camera batteries and then this is like how I convert pictures onto my computer. So we've got that. And then in this drawer right here, this is my new and improved bodysuit drawer. If you guys remember my old room, this drawer was always a mess. And it looks kind of chaotic right now, but I know where everything is. So I've got black going out tops. I've got long sleeve solid tops. I've got really tiny crop tops that are solids. These are more fun tops. I've got bodysuits right here. And then I've got black basic tops over here. And then a few random ones in the back. But that is my idea of organized. And then in this bottom drawer, I have all of my swimsuits. I got rid of tons in my last closet sale. And I basically only let myself keep as many that would fit in one drawer. So they're all right here. Obviously still way more than the average person needs, but I don't know. They all fit in there, so I'm letting myself keep them for now. I had actually gotten this full-length mirror with the intent of either putting it on this door and getting rid of this one or hanging it up um, horizontally over top of my dresser and I realized that it really just didn't work in either of those places. It's a little bit longer than the dresser so it looked silly hanging horizontally and it's too big to put on the back of my door so I decided you know what I still wanted to put it to use and I kind of had this awkward space in between my nightstand and my dresser and Madison was like let's just prop it up there and see how it looks and it looks amazing. So I will be doing tons of try-ons in this spot. I actually love the way it looks with the shoe wall in the back. Like, I don't know, I think that this is going to be perfect for my outfit of the day photos and all that kind of stuff. I will leave this mirror linked down below as well. I believe this one's $50 and it is seriously so awesome. And it's not one of those mirrors that's deceiving. You're not gonna look skinnier, you're not gonna look fatter in it. It's a real mirror, which I love. And then it's got that like white frame. Honestly, at first I was like, oh, I should have gotten black, but I love the white. I think that it actually pairs really perfectly with my new furniture. So then in the corner, I just have have my trash can and then here is what the dresser looks like it matches the nightstand perfectly as you can tell it's got sides and then a back of it that kind of like stands up and I personally love this I think that it is perfect for someone who keeps stuff on top of their dresser which I do so I've got two matching gold lamps on top I'll leave those linked down below and then I try to keep things pretty symmetrical because that's how I am so my makeup brushes are on this side and then I have two jewelry plates this one just has some of my everyday pieces on it and then this one over here just has a bag of jewelry I need to remember to bring back to school with me I've got lashes and a makeup palette right here and then a couple of other makeup products I need to remember to bring back with me and then all of my makeup is on this side and this has some beauty products in it um, acne patches extra foundations I've got makeup palettes right here this one's just like random stuff and then I've got glasses and stuff down here so I keep the those. And then, like I said, I have that little black table runner on it. That way I don't get any makeup on them. All right, moving on into what is inside of the drawers. As you can tell, the top two are a little bit smaller than the bottom four drawers. And so in the first one on the left, I'm keeping all of my t-shirts and they're just all rolled up. They actually all fit in there perfectly. 
I've got a bunch of old baseball tees, school things. Pretty much everything is the same three colors because that's how I am. And then in the drawer underneath of that, I've got a bunch of jeans. I actually have way, way, way more jeans than this, but a majority of them are at school with me. So once I like move back home for the summer, I'll definitely have to kind of rearrange the drawers of my dresser. But for right now, um, all of what's in here fits in here. So I have those. And then if you go all the way to the bottom drawer, I have shorts on the left. These are all denim shorts. I've got skirts that are summer skirts, winter skirts. And then I've got some fun shorts and more fun shorts over here. Kind of just like a miscellaneous pants drawer. But to me, you know, it all makes sense. Moving on to the right hand side, I used more of those drawer dividers so that I could keep underwear in one, bras in another, and then socks and tights over here. Those work so awesome for kind of just maximizing your space in the drawers. Then underneath of that, I've actually got fun pants. These are like palazzo pants, leather pants, and then I'm moving into all of my joggers. I'm so happy that I'm able to fit joggers in my dresser. I wasn't able to do that in my last dresser and they were taking up so much space being hung up in my closet. So I've got some pants in here and then these are actually like sweat shorts on the right hand side. And then in this bottom drawer, I've got a bunch of joggers as well. I have a couple pairs in the wash that are going to take up that space right there. But that is what's in my dresser. Pretty much everything else I hang up. Sweaters, fun tops, dresses, jumpsuits, rompers, and jackets all get hung up in my closet. And then in my clothing rack in the guest bedroom is where I keep like new products and stuff like that. And then this gray rug is actually from my college dorm room freshman year. I forgot to pick up a rug and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put this one down and see how it looks. And I literally love it. In my old bedroom, I had a much smaller rug and it kind of just sat in between my bed and the dresser and it made the room look so much smaller. My dad was like, this is actually the perfect size. I was worried about it being too big because when you are able to put part of the rug underneath the bed, it opens up the space so much more. So yeah, look at that. And like I said, I have some more stuff underneath my bed that's all organized down there, but I literally could not love this space more. It came together so beautifully and I just, oh my gosh, you guys, it feels so much more sophisticated. It's so much more open in here and it's just very visually appealing, especially for filming videos and taking pictures and stuff like that. I am going to be enjoying it as much as possible for the next week before I head back to school. And then when I come home for the summer, I am just going to be absolutely thrilled to be back in this space because it's so me. It literally came together just as I had envisioned, if not better. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Ikea for sponsoring yesterday and today's videos. I will have that blog post linked down below that shares more pictures of the bedroom, links to everything, like I said, and a few more details so you guys can check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed and that you love the space as much as me. Thank you, Madison and my dad, for helping me build everything. Like I said, Ikea again and you guys for sticking around. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.